just hours after the jury's verdict, rioting broke out in scattered parts of Los Angeles. Several hundred demonstrators threw rocks and bottles at police officers after attacking police headquarters known as Parker Center. More than 200 officers in riot gear encircled the building after the initial attack. They ordered the demonstrators to get back. Minutes later, more officers appeared. Demonstrators retreated, but some knocked over a guard shack. It crashed to the ground and was set on fire with paper leaflets. Police moved in and began arresting some of the demonstrators. Some protesters said they would not burn down their own neighborhoods, as was the case in the Watts riots of 1965. But in predominantly black South Central Los Angeles, cars were torched, as were at least two buildings. Because of obstacles, fire trucks were forced to turn around and search for other ways to get to the one square block fire. There were reports of people being pulled from their cars and beaten. There was looting as well. Windows were smashed as looters ran into local liquor stores. The intensity of the rioting forced Mayor Bradley to declare a state of emergency. The night here was lit with fires, the streets filled with unrest, and police under attack.